Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here. Just got back from one of my workouts and it's time for one of my favorite reviews every year. This is my thoughts on Apple Watch Series 5 Nike Edition. If you can't tell, already a big fan. So this version actually just shipped today, and in case you haven't seen it yet, it's Apple's collaboration, of course, with Nike to come up with their own limited edition, or I guess signature, Apple Watch. And the only differences between the Nike edition and the standard aluminum sports Apple Watch series are the faces. These are exclusive only to Nike models. Even the bands that do ship with a watch, you can buy those separately. So if you've got a standard aluminum, stainless, or any other edition of Apple Watch you may have, you can always swap those out. And other than the signature faces, which are actually my favorites across the series, they're always so simple. They've got bursts of color and maybe slightly with the fact that I'm a bit of a Nike fanboy, I tend to love them and I can always change them usually to orange, which obviously to me is a big deal. You can unfortunately only get them in an aluminum finish, so either in space gray or in silver. My absolute dream would be to have a say stainless steel Nike edition. I'm lucky enough to also own a stainless series five and I love the premium feel of the metal. It's heavier, it's got a bit more weight, a bit more substance to it, and it just gives the watch a bit more of a premium feel. The perforated bands, which Nike is now kind of known for, I'm actually rocking my Series 3. You can always interchange them. That's the thing that I love about Apple Watches. They are just made out of standard rubber, but because it is so perforated, it really helps the watch breathe. And I'm assuming you're watching this video because you want to work out with your Apple Watch, especially Nike edition, I can only assume so. It does help wick away a lot of that sweat when you're in the gym, way more so than even the Velcro ones, which are still marketed as sport bands, but these don't wick sweat away as nicely. They get wet after your workout and they kind of stay damp until the band dries up. So I wouldn't grab these if I were you. And I guess to the big meat of the video, is Series 5 worth it? And I've been using mine for a couple weeks now since launch, and I can say that I've worn this guy way more than any other series before that. And that's solely to do with the always on display. And if you guys have seen the channel, you know I'm a pretty big watch geek. This guy is always on my wrist, and I use a watch mainly to tell the time. When my wrist is down, I can now always glance at my watch and always be able to tell the time before you'd actually have to turn your wrist to activate the Apple Watch, and that's always not so practical. Say you're in the middle of a workout, you're doing push-ups, you're sitting underneath a bench press, maybe you wanna tell what time it is, I'm just kind of making up use cases, but you can now glance at it without having to activate that built-in movement to make the Apple Watch turn on, and I love that fact. The second big reason I use this guy is, of course, to work out. I actually turn most of my notifications off on my Apple Watch. I hate getting text messages. I use this, like I said, when I work out, when I'm at the gym, you wanna complete the rings. I know it's its entire thing. This guy becomes that next extra little piece of motivation to do so. And I'm not saying if you get an Apple Watch, you'll work out because that's obviously total bullshit. That has to come from within you. Whether you're a runner, you can track your distance or your pace, whether you're looking to do high intensity HIIT workouts, swimmer, cyclist, even into yoga, this guy has got you covered. And there's a reason why Apple Watches are the best selling smartwatch. They're just on the next level. They're just so much better than the competition. All the extra little things like app integration, being able to see my messages, making phone calls, I said I don't actually use, but the fact that you have that built in, that you can use that, I'm sure a lot of you will actually take full advantage of that, which I think is dope. And my thoughts after a couple weeks have kind of confirmed my initial impressions. If you already own a Series 4, which they've now discontinued, I don't think you need the upgrade. The always on display, although nice, isn't justified to spend five, six hundred dollars or even a thousand, depending which model you get for a new Apple Watch. Series 3 is now the new entry level, and just because Series 4 and of course 5 share that new redesign that we got last year, I would say it's worth it to grab Series 5 or if you can go say on to Kijiji, find a used for maybe to save a couple extra bucks. And yeah, those are kind of my overall thoughts on this year's Apple Watch Series 5. Of course, Nike edition. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look. Go out there, crush your workouts, go get it, complete the rings, and uh, I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next ones or in one of my vlogs. Peace.
P.S. to everyone that has been asking me about workout videos, go follow me on Insta. I do a few more behind the scenes stuff and share some of my personal life like my workout. So I'll leave it 